There's the combination for the safe. Money is in the lighthouse box under, under the socks and pistachio nuts. <laughs> we did it again! We just found more money. Oats, my goats. We got a hails of a lot of things we've got to get through again today. Yesterday, we were digging through marinara boxes. I think we're probably going to hit a few more marinara boxes today because those were a gold mine. And make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification because you never know what the hails we're going to find. I'm thinking garlic and marinara boxes again. We've got some from yesterday. Like, there's marinara right there. You see that one? But look at this. Look at this. We've got one under here. We've got one in here. I mean, we've hit so well. Oh, 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 oh! Don't worry. That's Rubbermaid. It should be okay. Set that right down there. Oh, we'll just... It's okay. It's okay. We're still in profit. Uh, let's move this over here. And... I wonder what's in there. I just want to peek. Did you just see that? We'll, we'll do that one on another day. Maybe. We might still do it today. What is this? Is this? That's garlic toast. Okay. There's quite a few boxes here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I see gold stuff right on the top there. Let's, let's jump over here. We've hit so well here. All right. Come on. Let's dig in. What do you say, Christian? Let's do it. Let's dig in with the old antique ice cream scoop. Look at that already. And not only is there one, oh my goodness, these people collected everything. Everything. I mean, this is the amazing part of it all. There's two antique ice cream scoops. Now, if you want to collect some of the things that you see on What the Hails as well, you're not into this bicentennial uh, shot glass, but other things you can get on secondsense.com and you can bid on the Hales auction. Now, items are already up for bid. Bidding closes, starts closing at one o'clock this Saturday. Don't worry, I put the website in there for you. Let's see what else we have here. Oh man, look at their antique lantern right there. Check that out. We found more lanterns in another box, didn't we? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys already have them out in the warehouse, up for, up for everything. Oh, look at this. We've got three dollars, two pieces. It's kind of nice when they have it all priced for you. That's probably gold inlay on the top there. Oh my! Do you know what this is? These are old cookie cutters. That's ridiculous. Look at that. What do you think that is? Is that a penguin? Maybe. Something. I don't know. Old cookie cutters. Okay, that was the glass. We got the ice cream scoops. Some other plates in here. I don't necessarily want to look at the plates. Unless, I think that's Hobby Ho Holly Hobby. So those are pretty collectible. That was a $5 price tag there. And there is another one. And it looks like $5 price tag there. Oh, gentle, gentle. There are some more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I know you're not, but you're about to. Look at this. This is the old cookie cutters has an old razor in there. This is an old razor, Joseph Rogers and Sons. And if we, oh my, holy cow. That's not an old razor though. It's an old pin. What in the world? And that's for cigars. What in the world? Why would they have put this in an old razor box? Okay, so... Gee whiz. I'm perplexed on this one. This is an old razor box. Okay. Um, let's set that aside because that'll do something else with that. Whoa! Italia. Look at that. Made in Italia. Look at all these little... Now, these are the old... They're not plastic cellophane. I don't even know what you would call it. 
but uh, there's a high high end market for it and a little army men. You know, the old original army men were made out of lead. If we could find some of those in here, that'd be amazing. But even these, I don't even know how to put a price on these. I don't even know how to look them up on eBay. Old, creepy, mini Dow made in Italy. I don't know, something like that maybe. One more box. Ah, oh, that one sounds heavy. And you know what? I got no knife. Just gonna have to manhandle it, just like that. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have, hopefully, oh yes, yes, tape, tape. To a reseller, this is a dream come true. You never have enough tape, ever. You never have enough bubble wrap, ever. This is awesome. This was worth the $3,800 and, well, $3,850 that was spent on all of this together. So $1,800 for the one unit, $17 for the other, then a 10% buyer's premium for the auctioneer. That's That was worth it right there. Actually, you know what? The Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters Stave Puff Marshmallow uh, Pencil Sharpener that I found yesterday, that made it worth it. Even though the resale value, oh, 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 forget the resale value on that. Do you see what we're finding? You've got to be freaking kidding me. More money. Oh, my goodness. Did you just see that? I got to take my gloves off, Christian. <sighs> okay. All right. Forget that. Move that out of the way. What in the world is this money doing in this box? Sink francs? Sink francs. All right. Sink is five. Five francs. Franks. Okay. Why? Why is it in this box? All right, the cross in my pocket. We'll put that in a. Jeez, this is just. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here's a key to something. Here's the key to something as well. Oh, did I show you the card from yesterday in yesterday's box yet? We found for those who watched us open the safe that was in this unit that was filled with fifty cent pieces yesterday. Christian and I opened a box. In that box was a card. Afterwards, I started going through everything with a fine tooth comb. That box in the card had the combination for the safe. I'll show it to you in a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. I'm going to set that money aside here. This is so, oh, more cards if we can get. So it's either the combination was to the safe that we opened. The other hypothesis that George and I had last night is that there's another safe hidden somewhere in here, which very well could be somehow, some way. Here's a wallet. Is that a wallet? Nope, not a wallet. This is so weird. Look at this, dude. Brand, okay, we find old, old $5 French bill. Now we're finding brand new Harbor Freight. No, Project Source, that's from Lowe's. Brand new tools. It just, it just gets crazier and crazier. Makes you want to dig into another box. Here's the card that we found yesterday. Look at this. Dear K, just in case. And then here is the actual, I mean, there you have it. There's the combination for the safe. So he says, here's the combination for the safe. Now, we already opened the safe. There was a ton of stuff in there. We did it with our combination. Sledgehammer. George and a sledgehammer. Oh! Ah! Come here, come here, oh my come gosh. here, come here. Oh my gosh. Come here. <laughs> We got it. Here it we goes. got it. Here it goes. Oh, there's stuff in here. Look, 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 look. There's definitely. All right, we're going to smoke. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard it. I heard it. Holy I cow. It. I just heard money. Look at that. No, oh, Izzy, come look. Come look. No way. It's not ammo. It is it's not ammo. Coins. It is not ammo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we probably have, what, $1,000 and 50 cents? Isaac's going to have fun counting. Have later. you ever seen anything like this before, Isaac? This is crazy. Here, you see that? John, money is in the lighthouse box under, under the socks and pistachio nuts. So the other thing that I'm looking for today, I want to find the lighthouse box because we're outright told there's money hidden in it based on this piece of paper. I don't usually go through all the paper when we're going through the unit on camera. That happens afterwards. But I'm on a hunt because I know there is more money in here somewhere. We've found so much ridiculous amounts of money in here already. Hopefully, we find the lighthouse box. 
Hopefully I can get in here. Is this marinara or garlic? That it's is garlic. garlic toast. All right, here we go. Karate chop didn't work. Let's see what I have over here to get us in. Oh, got the, instead of a knife, I got a cookie. Here we go. That's nice. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Do you think they hid all the money in the in the sheets, maybe? Maybe. maybe. All right, this garlic toast box is becoming a bit of a letdown. You know what? That garlic toast box was a huge letdown. Huge. We got another box right here. Let's go for it. Look at that. Got a shower curtain. Got the whole shell motif. It's kind of nice. Brand new vinyl. We've got another crazy shower curtain. Why? I don't know. We've got... What does that say there? Color concepts. Color concepts. Why? I don't know. We've got the clock. You know what time it is? It is time for everybody to go bid at the Second Sense auction for what they owe stuff. Make sure you do it today. You don't wanna you don't wanna lose out on that. Okay. And Christian was actually gonna tell me the actual time. There's another shower curtain. Well, let me say it's Another shower curtain. Listen, you know what we want, Christian. We want the lighthouse box. Who's that dude? Gerald Ford. Oh, he was our 38th president. Okay. I only know that because I just read it upside down. Christian! I can put some on the wall. Yes! 38 and 58. So Christian has been putting every license plate we find we've been hanging up on the wall. Christian's been hanging them up. Actually on the sliding door for the warehouse. So we're kind of doing a lot of decorating, some things like that. That's pretty cool right there. What do you think? About right up in there. Looks about good. There's a there's a 25 from Pennsylvania. 38, 58. We got all these here. That should that should go really well. And we've been doing a lots of different things. Look, here's patients going through stuff right now. Uh, they just set up these display cases yesterday. So this is going to be really cool. This whole area right here. They've been decorating like crazy. I've been dying to know what's in this bag. It's not the lighthouse, particularly not the lighthouse box that we can see, but there is, you see there's a box in here. So I thought maybe, just maybe, we might actually have, you no, know, that's Kaufman's. This thing is filled with $100 bills. How amazing would that be? Wait, wait, we got something else in here. We got, we got quite a few something else's in here. We got styrofoam. Okay. All right. Here is a certificate of authenticity uh, for the toy maker, which I'm going to guess is maybe... That's it right there. Look at that. It's collectible plate. The toy maker. Right? Yep. Yep. All right. So there's that there. So we got, we got a crazy plate in here. We've got... We got a napkin. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, check that out. Christian. Come on, Christian, tell me what this is. Silver spoon. It is silver. So fed with a silver spoon. This is, look at that. You see that there? That is made in Sweden. Do you see it? That is a silver spoon. It was either bought for $25 or was being sold for $25. Look at that. So the old adage of fed with a silver spoon came from people actually eating with silver spoons. Stuff we use nowadays, stainless steel. But that is an actual piece of silver. We found so much silver yesterday. Oh, man. Now we got more silver. I'm going to set that aside. Set this aside. Come on, more silver. More silver. Whoa, whoa. It's kind of drafty down here. It's kind of drafty. Windy today. And, oh! I have no idea what this is, do you? No. Me either. It looks like, it reindeer. looks like, I thought it was Rudolph the reindeer, real, real, you know, after first look. I thought it was. Oh, what's this? There's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. And, come on, Santa Claus. We need... We need to find some money, Santa Claus. 
Santa Claus, that's what's on our wish list. We want to find some money. I'm looking for a lighthouse box. I didn't see anything that said lighthouse, but what's that say? Right there. You see that, Christian? That says... Marinara. Marinara. And we have scored big with the marinara. So here we... Got to be careful. Here we... Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Dude, dude, over here, over here. The focus is over here. Over here. Don't worry about that over there. This, That'll be fine. Everything's right here, okay? Sound like it broke. Uh, could have. It might have, but that's okay. Now, this one, this one actually, this looks like, like if you were to stand that up, wouldn't you think there was a lighthouse in there? Maybe. Hey. So, it's not labeled lighthouse, but, man, I need something to open this thing up with. Um, whatever this is, this will work. Okay, this thing. Here we go. Lighthouse. Remember, there's hidden money in the lighthouse box, so we know that for sure. There are also, maybe more importantly, because it's lunchtime, pistachio nuts. So we know that too. So let's see. Remember, whenever using a cigar thing, always cut away from the sausage. Unless you're cutting a cigar, cut towards the cigar. Okay. Oh, what do we have? What do we have? We got ourselves... We got ourselves a brand new baby doll. Look at that. Brand new. You know what they have to do now, Christian, right? Take a drink of water? Yep, drink of water. We want you guys to stay safe during this pandemic. Stay hydrated. Oh, there's a price. What's the price say? $20. All right, $20 right there. Right there. What does the bag say? The bag says, oh, Cleveland Clinic. I thought it said, don't let kids put this over their head, and yet here they are putting it over the head of a baby. All right, so there, that's not the lighthouse. We're going to keep trying to find the lighthouse box, though. But until then... We got this super awesome marinara box. Oh, I see bubble wrap. You know what that means? That means typically there was something worth protecting. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We found five francs, francs. What do you think this is gonna be? No, 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 not too close, not too close. That looks personal there. Hold a second. Ready bath. That'll be good when the water gets shut off. No freaking way! <laughs> We did it again! We did it again! You gotta be kidding me! You've got to be freaking kidding me! Marinara is where it's at! Forget garlic! Forget garlic completely! Oh my goodness! We just found more money! Uh, this certificate of recognition, and it says the school certifies initiative and cleanup programs. So that was for cleanup programs. Guess who's cleaning up now? You have got to be kidding me! What do you think? Do you think it's money or marbles? We definitely have money there. What do you think about this one? Might be. What do you think? Money or Maybe. marbles? Guess. Uh, paper clips. Okay, he's None guessing paper clips. I'm guessing I think marbles. Come on, old marbles. The old marbles. It's actually marbles. All right. I've been doing this a little longer than you. That's all right. You're getting the hang of it, though. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? Look at that. We got... Is that... Oh, man. If these are war nickels and those are silver... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, dude, this isn't even the lighthouse box. We know the note says there's money hidden in the lighthouse box. This ain't even the lighthouse box. This is awesome. Okay, reassurance. We have found so much money in these units. This is crazy. I don't even know what to think right now. Well, we were just saying there is nothing. The, the garlic boxes are, and the marinara boxes are gold. Look at all the money. All right, here's some glasses. Actually, what do you think? Better or worse? Uh, worse. Yeah, probably. I can't see any better either. All right, let's just dump those out because we got to check and see if there's any money hidden in here. This is just wild. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? It's just absolutely crazy. Something's in here. All right, there's a little hand care kit. All right, let's do this take the money out there it is there's a chain and let's um 
be okay. We'll do this. All right, let's see what we got here. No way, no way. All right, let's get these out of here. Okay, we definitely found the money. Some of it, some more of it. All right, fingernail clippers, that don't mean nothing to us. That one's a wheat head. Now remember, can you remember, Christian, what particular year are we looking for specifically? I have no idea. 1943. So the 1943 copper penny, extremely rare. They know of about 20 of them in circulation, worth about a million dollars. Also rare, oh, there's where those ones all came from. Also rare would be the 1944 steel penny, a wheat head or a wheaty as well. Uh, because they transitioned back to copper. And you got the 1909, and look at that. Look at that old key. What are, you, are those dolphins, or are they goldfish? Look at that. Wow. All right. Now, 1948, that nickel, what we're looking for is the wartime nickels. So during World War II, they took all the nickel for ammunition for the war effort, and this started, they started putting silver in the actual nickels. Here's some more. Here's some more. So you can see here, this is nickels. We want to see. That's a 1960. There's a 1948. But they still might have kept these. They could have been error coins. And error coins could be worth a lot. A lot. 1943. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. I bet you we're going to have some nice silver nickels right in here too oh here's another nickel just curious now most people will tell you don't touch this stuff with your bare hands you get oils on it things like that but i ain't dumb i'm gonna touch it regardless 1944 now if this was steel this one's a copper one if this was steel this would be worth a ton but it is copper so let's see let's see all right you want to go for pennies or nickels first? Go for pennies. All right. Christian says pennies. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we have any 1943. I want to see how many are actual. Yeah, they're Wheaties. They're Wheaties for sure. All right, let's flip some over. There's a 1944. 1941, so close. 19... If we found a 1943 copper, would you crap your pants? If they're worth millions, yeah. Would you make me share it with you? No. Good, because you ain't getting none of it. <laughs> and, and if we ever found it, uh, we would probably not broadcast it on YouTube. Or do you think we would? I, I don't know. Let us know in the comments. If we found a 1943 penny, do you think we would share that on YouTube or not? There is 1934. If I was dyslexic, that would have been the penny I wanted. There's a 44. All right, these are all these are all wheats. I'm put them in there to go home. Look at all this. All right, let's take a look at the nickels because I want to see what silver we have. Let's, uh, let's break those open. Okay, look at that. All right, so at a bare minimum, we got two dollars in nickels, right? Let's see what we have in as far as collectability. What's the date on that one? Can you tell? 46 46 52 right, come on let's 52 let's find some silver 41 let's find some more 41 41 62 53 40 1940 40 52 let's see I wonder if we have any buffalo nickels in here. 40, 40, 46, 62, 46, 42. Yeah, yep, we definitely got a little bit of everything. I wonder, man alive. We just keep getting luckier and luckier with these units. We just found more money. 41, so that has got... A silver content in it right there that's what you would call war nickel world war ii nickel and wow 47 
We're just going to have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb and find out how much real money we have here in collectability value.